Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has interleague action for you. This Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Eric Lauer. What do you look for here? Really labored his last time out. Four-plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Batting second, the third baseman, Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor, the next twin up to hit. Molitor comes in fifth in the American League in batting average. Line drive, caught! Batting third, the shortstop, Carlos Correa. Now Correa up to hit, having a huge season. Comes into the day leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Chopped out in front of the plate. Safe at first and an infield single keeps the inning going. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two down. So up next for Minnesota, Harmon Killebrew. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, it's fair, out of here. His 28th home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. At the play, Tory Hunter. Torrey. That one ripped left field, way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. Bottom of the first. And starting in this one, Nick Lodolo. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. No, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Next offering upstairs. Wong leads off first with one away. Got him. And there's two down. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. The batter now, Jorge Polanco, enters this one with the seventh-best average in the American League. Lauer, back to work. And a foul ball. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Out towards left center. McCutcheon makes his way towards it. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. Joe Maurer, the next twin up to hit. And this is a guy that doesn't just impact the game defensively. They count on him to deliver offense. He's the first guy at the ballpark. He's got to study opposing hitters. He's got to get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night. And he's getting in the cage to take his swings. That's a whole lot and so many times goes unnoticed. 
Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Kicks and fires. Now a screamer into the outfield. McCutcheon pulls it down, and there's two down. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins, but they're on top 2 nothing. Welcome back. Willie Adamas stands in. That's in there. That's strike one. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Here's Rowdy Telez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Mauer makes the grab. One down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Andrew McCutcheon takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Next offering is fouled back. Deal two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's two down. Man, he got a real good pitch to hit right there with two strikes. You cannot miss that. Not a great slider at all. And I tell you what, that's where you've got to do damage. He looked like he was on time getting the bat through the zone, but he just caught air. Adamas off of first with two away. There's a strike. Bringing the cheese on that one. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two Just missed. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And down on strikes. That ends the inning. Brewers strand one. And they're down to nothing. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now for the Twins, Nick Gordon. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was out front. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone even realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother had that ball cap, and I would just kind of borrow it. Some would say steal it, but it was just such a cool-looking logo. I had no idea until years later that that's what was hidden on the inside of it, that M and that B, but very, very cool. Line drive. That's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And for him, that's two solid weeks with a hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak to 14, and let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just as well do it with some authority. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Man at first, here's a big power threat. Carlos Correa, right now the leading RBI man in the American League. He's been huge this season. That's out to center field. And that is the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. They're up 2 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, now batting Michael Brasso. Lodolo back to work. The designated hitter. Smash to the left side. And it goes just foul. 
The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And he'll two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One out. Well, oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Wong, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two up, two down. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what now power batting. pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Now it's Chase Peterson. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters... Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And that should be extra bases. And it gets by him. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Here's the center fielder, Christian Yelich. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And that one in the air center field. Buxton makes the catch, and that'll do it. Milwaukee leaves one. They try. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's a speed threat. Harmon Killebrew. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Grabs it on the run. And a quick out number one. Torrey Hunter. Now here is Torrey Hunter. Good contact guy, good defender. On the ground to third. Throw over to Telez. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Now batting the designated hitter, Jorge Polanco. And now the big time power threat, Jorge Polanco. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Out to short. Zips it to first. And Polanco is out. Back here in Milwaukee, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Hunter Renfro. And there's the strike. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. to count one and two. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two out. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That ends the frame. Nobody left for Milwaukee. They're still down. It's 2 zip. Back here at American Family Field. We go to the top of the fifth. And now Joe Mauer. The catcher. Joe Mauer. 
Fought off foul. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Ground ball up the middle. Adamas, the throw to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Justin Mordeaux. In the air to left center. McCutcheon giving chase. And in one hops the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now it's going to be Nick Gordon. Curve in the dirt, kicks away. Left-hand hitter waits. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Mordeaux around third. He scores. It's three zip. Picks himself up in RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now, Byron Buxton. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And first offering is fouled off. Gordon, the base runner at first with one out. One and one. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Lauer checks on first. Back standing. He's in there safely. That one ripped. This one's got a chance. Gone! Byron Buxton blasts one out. His 34th of the season. And they add on. It's five zip. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So one out, nobody on. Paul Molitor, the next twin up to hit. It's softly on the ground to third. Throw over to Telez. That's out number two. And here comes Carlos Correa. One for two. And a liner around into right center for a base hit. Around first, heading for two in safely it's a double and his second hit there comes a skipper out of the dugout and he's ready to make the move now on the bump Josh Lindblom a runner on second to deal with he'll do his best to keep him there well, at this point in the ball game we're talking about middle innings and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper Base knock center field. Correa on his horse and coming home. Adamas with a relay home. He beats it safe. It's six nothing. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of Statcast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Rip to short. They take the force out. out. That's out number three. 
Home half of the fifth coming up. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The pitch. There's the strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. So now one and two. Right through there, got him. And one out now. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Going to now. Swing and a miss, and he got him. All man for the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Next for Milwaukee, Michael Brasso. He's 0 for 1. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is all set for the start of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jorge Polanco. Lindblom back to work. And the right hater deals. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it on his own. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now that. And here's the catcher, Joe Mauer. Up the middle. Wong to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Up next for Minnesota. Two outs, base is empty. Justin Mordo will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And fouled off. Two outs. And the ball one. one and two. Bloop behind second. He's got it. And that is out number three. Top of the. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Colton Wong up to hit. Second first pitch swinging. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Swings and misses. One up, one down. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Strike two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here's Yelich at the dish. Now batter, center fielder, Christian. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh, and, one. and he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings right. through it. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Top of inning number seven. Here's some real power at the plate. Nick Gordon. The second baseman. And a pitch. Gordon. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now batting the center fielder, Byron Buxton. Here's Byron Buxton. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Tap back to the mound. Adamas handles. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Paul Molitor, the next twin up to hit. This guy with big time power and an elite no, defender. Checks over to first, back safely. This to third. Oh, great stop. Over to second for one. On to Telez, and the double play ends the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the twin six, and the Brewers nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Leading off for the Brewers, the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. And a pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got now to live on the outer edges. When it's right on the tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Digging in, Willie Adamas. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Hunter makes the play. One away. Now batting. The first baseman. Rowdy. And now it's Rowdy Telez. First nope. offering misses the mark. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Renfro at first, one gone. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And that's in for a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Brewers strand one, still up against a 6 nothing deficit. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's Carlos Correa. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel. pitch on the ground to the left Adamas the throw to first one up one down now batting the first baseman Harmon and here is Harmon Killebrew
That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit velo of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what, that's a very impressive swing of the bat. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. This one lifted in the air, left field, and that's a base hit. And now the Twins catcher, oh, Joe Maurer. The catcher, Joe Maurer. On the ground right side, whips it to first on the run. And that'll do it. Twins strand a pair. But they're on the mound now for the Twins, Kenta Maeda. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And he deals. Severino in the box now. No balls and a strike. The catcher, Pedro Severino. Next offering is foul back. Here's the 0-2. Slice to right. Can't get there. Base hit. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Stepping in, Michael Brasso. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. And there's one down. Up next for Milwaukee. Now it's the second baseman, the second Colt baseman. Luong. One for three. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Righty delivers. Strike two. Severino stands at first with one out. And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. In the air, left field. Mordo drifts towards it. And it's caught for the out. Man at first, up Jace Peterson. Ball. Up now for the Brewers. In there, and it's 0-1. Right side. He'll do it himself. Oh. Inning over. Milwaukee leaves one. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now for the Twins, Justin Morneau and a pitch. Now a pop-up on the infield. On the run, throw to first. Close play against the speedy runner. Nick Gordon, the next twin up to hit. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. That's a laser base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Back to the top of the lineup. And now Byron Buxton. Byron. 
Out towards right center field. Renfro on his way over. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. Man at first. And next for Minnesota, Paul Molitor. This guy one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. On the ground. Adamas over to pick it up. They get the force. And that is. Welcome back. And now it's Christian Yelich. Leading off for the Brewers. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Next offering is outside. Kicks and deals. Bounce to the right. Gordon handles the chance. Whips it to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Hunter Renfro. And that one fouled off. Into center. Buxton. Has this one sized up? Hauls it in for the out. Up now for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Now he turns and heads for second. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. And that's a two out double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Rowdy Telez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And a swing and a miss. The one-two. That one lifted to left. Mordeaux under it. And that'll wrap it up. The Twins add another to their winning streak. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're the just a can't. One.